in the region. The German Chancellor is saying that it's rare that my Armenian colleague comes to Germany. However, we do have the opportunity to meet every now and again. Today, we've been discussing the situation in the region of Nagorno-Karabakh. The President has explained what his position is. I will say that the Minsk group has an important role to play in the resolution of this conflict. We're trying within the Minsk group, as well as with the OSCE, to accelerate the process of maintaining the ceasefire for both sides, and we'd like both sides to negotiate. There's been little progress so far. Of course, it's in everyone's interest for conflicts to be resolved, particularly for a country such as Armenia, given its geographical position. If the situation calms down, things could improve for the country of Armenia. Of course, we understand that it's difficult, says Merkel. We've also talked about the economic situation and within an international context. The Armenian president said the nuclear treaties were an important step. And I told him the relationship between Armenia and the European Union should improve. And it's a good idea to have a strong relationship between the two. We're of course very interested in the ongoing political reforms in Armenia. It's very important for policies to be more transparent. It's a step in the right direction. We've also talked about relations with Turkey. We've discussed the possibility of activating contacts which were made several years ago. Particularly in the current context of the conflict in the breakaway region of Nagorno Karabakh, Merkel's referring to there. Merkel continues We want to develop positively and be a good, strong partner for Armenia and to help them as much as possible. The Armenian president, Serge Sargsyan, thanks Angela Merkel and says it's a great honor for me to be here today in Germany. It's a very friendly country for Armenia. Our relationship has always been friendly. And it's a viable partner for us. Thank you, Chancellor Merkel, for greeting us and inviting us here today. The cooperation between both our countries and between Armenia and the European Union is very rich. And these days, the issue of Nagorno-Karabakh is very important. Following the offensive of the Azeri army against Nagorno-Karabakh, says the Armenian president. 
Of course, we've discussed this at great length. I explained to the Chancellor what's been happening. And we in Armenia very much appreciate the help and the partnership we have with Germany. Germany is taking part, of course, in the work of the Minsk Group. At the beginning of the year, Germany had already called for the creation of a me mechanism within the Minsk Group in order to control the ceasefire which has been ongoing until recently. Armenia was in favor, favor of the proposal to withdraw weapons from the border of the Nagorno-Karabakh region. But our opponents had another agenda. In the end, they succeeded in their endeavor, and all the efforts made in the last 30 years were ruined. And the vast offensive started at the end of last week. It's the biggest offensive in recent years against civilians in the region. And Azerbaijan once again succeeded in reaching a climax in this war, says the president. It's very dangerous. I want to thank Chancellor Merkel for it, Germany's contribution. It's very important to Armenia as a nation. And it's a nation which shares European values. Germany is the second trade partner of Armenia. And within the next few days, we'll have a new economic representation of Germany in Armenia. I told the Chancellor we're expecting the German businessmen and business people in our country. We'll welcome them and we thank you for your cooperation. It's a good example of a creation of a new society in Armenia. So we thank Germany for all its efforts towards our people. As far as we're concerned, we'll do all we can to create an even stronger relation, an even stronger link with Germany. And we hope that our next meeting will, in fact, take place in Yerevan, the Armenian capital.